All right, so what we're going to look at now is how to quickly create a chalkboard um, graphic that you can use in your course. So there are a few ways you can do that. Um, I'll kind of show you what we did here, but let's do this first. Um, first thing we want to do is uh, most chalkboards have kind of a wooden frame. So uh, what I would do is use this frame tool here. And so you can do that. And then this becomes an area that you can fill. And then you can always put the chalk or the board background in the front or on top. So uh, you can see you can create the frame any way you want to. We're just going to go ahead and kind of frame it up this way. And um, and then the other thing is we we'll probably have a shelf. So we'll let's just go ahead and uh, we'll create a shelf that's a little that has kind of a lip and then it's a little higher up here. So this is kind of the basics of our framework here for the chalkboard. And then uh, we can fill this. Now what we can do is you can fill it with brown if you want to and just you know play around with some gradients. But that doesn't look like a wood frame. Uh, so what I would do is just fill it with uh, pattern. So um, I'm just going to use the pattern, or the, not a pattern, but a texture that comes with PowerPoint. So if you choose the fill and picture option, uh, you can see PowerPoint comes with some uh, pre-fills, so wood right here that might work. I kind of like the lighter wood. And you've got some pre-fills and then you can play around with the settings. So here's what it looks like normally without the settings. So you can see when you uh, have that wood, um, it looks like one big piece of wood because the grain is all going in the same direction. So it doesn't look quite as natural. And the grain looks really big. So what you can do is when you uh, fill it like this, and if this is what you wanted to do, um, you can come in here and play with your tiling options. And if you scale it, so let's scale it to about 35%. When you scale it, it makes the grain a little tighter. So it looks a little more natural than if it was um, the bigger grain. So it doesn't look like big pieces of wood. Uh, the other thing, though, is it still doesn't look natural. But if you wanted to do that, uh, you can play around with the scaling. The other thing you can do is you can go online and probably find some better textures that work uh, for the framework rather than uh, the ones that come with PowerPoint. But using this frame fill is an easy way to go. And then you can put an image behind or on top of the frame if you want. Now another way you can do it, and it's what I did on this one here, is you have this tool here. And this is called your diagonal stripe. And if you hold your shift key down and, and do and size it, it's going to be a perfect 45 degree angle. And then you can make it as thin or thick as you'd like it. Then if you hold the shift key down and rotate it, it's going to snap into place. And, and what I did here was I created that. And I just created the corner. And then I filled it with the wood. So I'm going to go ahead and just fill it with uh, the picture, which is the wood. And what's nice about this is um, if we look at the example I built here, uh, the wood grain goes in different directions. So it looks a little more natural like a real uh, picture frame. And so you can play around with, again, the patterns or the um, textures that you can find. But that's what I did here. So I have uh, these framed elements. So if we look at it here, you know, it's just these framed elements here. And oops, and um, so that's what I have here. And then the the next thing is creating the green background that becomes your uh, backdrop. Now I'll show you something that is easy. One is you can just create an image. So let's say I'm gonna I'm gonna delete this one here. So this is my frame here. You just create your picture, or just take a PowerPoint shape, your rectangle, and then um, you can fill it. Let's just fill it with a uh, a dark gray and um, we'll get rid of the line. And we can send that to the back or we can just keep it on top here. But um, that works for a chalkboard. What you could do t as well is to insert an inset shadow and that creates a little separation so it looks a little more like a picture frame. Uh, and then you can play around with gradients, maybe make it a little lighter to darker. Now what I did is I just went ahead and did a search for chalkboards on um, the Microsoft site, and then I found this here. So here's a chalkboard. It gives me quite a bit. So I just cropped this, and now I have a chalkboard image that I can insert in the background, uh, which is what I did here. So I've got a shadow and the chalk image.